All right, YouTube. Today we're going to play some Tron. Um, this deck is very good, in my opinion. I think it's probably one of the, it's probably the best, if not the second best deck in modern. I think. Um, I'm playing this now because there's a chance that I play this for the uh, for the unified GP in um, in whatever it is in September. We've got like. We've got one of the people on our team are likely going to play um, a Blue Moon Snapcaster Mage deck. So if I can handle this, this is probably what I'll play because I can't play Grixis Shadow because the Snapcasters will be gone. And this is just like a very good deck in my opinion. So um, it's pretty. St I don't really know a lot about the deck, so we're probably going to stumble through this league. So let's just get into it. I played one match before against Ad Nauseam and one, which was pretty great. Just played like a little two man queue. I just had natural Tron on three and even won a game on the draw. So we're going to get this mono green Tron going on. I don't necessarily like playing with this deck. I don't think it's a really good play experience, but it, it, you just can't, you can't deny how good this deck is. This deck is very good. And if I can't play Bricks of Shadow, then. It's something that I'm definitely, definitely in the market to playing. Especially if I'm going to fly to a GP, like, I'm there, I'm there to win, you know? And this deck's competitive. So, I did win the die roll, so I would like to play first. So this hand, this game, this is all about mulliganing, right? So I have two payoffs. I'm on the play. I think I'm going to keep this hand. Because I'm, I'm like two-thirds the way to Tron, providing I draw a land. And I have um, two redraws. Add another Tron piece. So I have two redraws for eight cards in my deck. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep this. I have the payoffs as well. I don't know if this is a mulligan or not, really. I think that it's got a decent opportunity at hitting Tron on three. But this deck doesn't mulligan well, so maybe people are going... Maybe it is not right of me to, to keep this. Glistener Elf. So this isn't good. This is real bad. So let's crack this for green. All right, that was pretty bad. I'm just going to play another Chromatic Star. So this is likely one of the night. This is a nightmare matchup, right? It's green black, so they even have Thoughtseize too. Jeez. I would assume that the green black version is is much worse for this deck. Cuz it's got Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize as well as you know a super clock is going to, is tough. Okay. So let's crack this for green. We hit a sphere. So I'm just going to play a land and then play this map. And then pass. Oh, I, I didn't realize I had another mana there. I should have played um, my sphere. So hopefully we just naturally hit this Tron land. Like that would be great. Wow, if we can get to Ulamog, Ulamog should be pretty decent. Or, or I mean, uh, Ugin. Eugene. That sucks. I'd be able to crack another mana here, which would be nice, but. Alright, so let's go get 
let's go get the power plant. And then we're just going to crack this right now. Um, get green. Okay. Play this. Um, activate this immediately. And then pass. And just hope I'm not dead. If I hit exactly another Tron piece, I can go like... Um, Ulamog hit Plague Stinger Ink Moth Nexus, and then I'm kind of stabilized. So like I, if I'm not dead here, I think I've got ways to win. Karn likely doesn't really do a lot. Like I'm probably gonna just Karn doesn't do anything actually. Need a land. I need to be able to hit Ulamog here. Hers is mine is one short. Yeah, I, I needed I needed to be able to cast Ulamog, right? Because if I if I could hit Ulamog, I think I had a chance. So we have nine mana. So I might as well play this minus one and then just crack my relic. Yeah. All right, so let's go minus two. And then we're just going to crack this relic. And then hopefully we can get there. Well, this is like this is like the um, this is like the, the epitome matchup, right? Like the really bad one. So we just got to hope they get like fatal pushes and creatures, basically. But like the odds of that happening are pretty low. Yeah. GG's. GG's opponent. Okay. Trace feels probably good. Let's see what's not good. I'm going to go with Relic of Progenitus is not good. Um... Relic Progenitus is not good. I have cards here that are pretty good. Trinosphere is good. Thought Knots here is good. Warping Whale and Spatial Contortion are good. God, I don't know what sideboard out in. I just want to make it's like you can make an argument for Nature's Claim as well, even though that seems kind of loose. So I want to bring in eight cards. And I want to cut these. Um Probably can shave on an Ugin. Worldbreaker is probably pretty good. Karn seems kind of slow. Mm hmm. So I kind of want Spatial Contortion and Warping Whale because it allows me to kill a creature. Like this at least lets me exile a one, a one toughness creature here. Probably don't need this Ulamog. Probably just shave across the board. Well, Ugin's probably... Well, I can play Karn on three. I think because I can play Karn on three, I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep all four of my Karns in on the play. Probably just don't need the Ulamogs. They're just too slow. Might do some shuffling around here. It's a removal spell, right? I mean, that's... And, it's, and then it can counter a Thought Seize. Like, it, it's not great, right? But it's probably better than some of these cards.
I'd cast it on my main phase, Rafi. Yeah, I mean, I'm casting that. I'm casting that on my main phase here. We're gonna try this. So devastating sevenings this morning. Stay, stay away from me, dude. Thought not seer is there to take a card and block. So, the reason I'm playing Tron is because for the team, the Team Unified Grand Prix, we're likely, so this hand's probably, this hand too slow. Tron piece into Sylvan Scrying Tron piece. This is a turn for O-Stone and Blow It Up, which is probably fine on the play. No, we're playing we're playing Tron because there's a chance that um I play this for the Unified Grand Prix if the Snapcaster Mages are taken. You ship I'm I'm in, I'm inclined to ship this. I don't think the hand's quite good enough here. This hand's much better. Like Transfers are probably gonna be pretty good against this deck. It's at least gonna slow them down a lot. We'll keep. What are we putting on top? Thought not here. We don't want a thought not here. So if my opponent plays a one drop creature. I'm just gonna warping wheel it on my turn. If they don't, then I'm gonna Sylvan Scryings for a land. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's a chance that I play this for our team at a uh, at Unified because. The Snapcaster Mages aren't there. Okay, so I think I'm just going to hit this. Noble Hierarch is, like, quietly the best card in Infect, I think. Alternatively, I can ensure myself a land. Okay. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to hit this Noble Hierarch. Because it's very likely that we're not going to be able to use it after we turn a sphere. And if my opponent wants to counter this with a mutagenic growth, then that's okay. Which they did. Okay, so there's the Plague Stinger. Another Noble Hierarch. So now I just Sylvan Scryings for a Tron piece and play Chromatic Star. So I have Tower, so I'll get Power Plant. And then pass. I think the seven was better. This had guaranteed Tron. Turn four and redraw the sphere. I guess that makes sense, Rafi. Probably poor sequencing. We could just be dead. We're probably just dead. Oh, they just be commencing, so I go to nine poison. So I gotta kill this thing right now. So now I'm gonna Ancient Stirrings because a Tron piece or a Walking Blista saves me. Tower, Thought Not Seer, Forest. Neither of those do it. So I might as well take the tower as it's a land drop. If I let's like I'm gonna crack this, this star and hope I hit Ballista.
Show him nothing and concede. Hey, Ballista still gets me out of this. I still haven't made a land drop, so Ballista, Ballista will do it. One, two. That's not, there's no Ballistas here. There's no Ballistas here. Play land, play Chromatic Sphere, crack it, have one mana up. We don't have any dismembers, so we can't kill this thing. All right, they got it. <laughs> yeah, now we're dead. And that's like the nightmare matchup, right? Like, like that deck makes it so Tron does not run over everybody, I assume. Why is now catch <laughs> Because it's fun. Because <sighs> it is fun to do. It is not good, but it is fun to do. Okay. So we'll keep this hand. I think. Like, we have a couple redraws to Karn on three. That's bad. Trolling the Tron player. Opponent scoops it up. So should we speculate about what our opponent's playing? Or should we just submit? I'm thinking we just submit. Our hand was our deck is so scary that our opponent just scooped up. We shouldn't even mess with it. If we were at a tournament there, I would sideboard, I think, base this was a fair deck. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan this. I don't have Tron or a payoff guaranteed. So, okay, so we have Tron and then two. We have Tron and a redraw, so we'll keep this. I'm going to Expedition Map. Oh, we don't have Tron. But we, we have Tron because of the map, but... We don't exactly have Tron. Yeah, Thrycuffs is probably a fine board in. Yep. Again, I'm not necessarily looking to, like, win right now. I think I'm just trying to figure out how the deck operates. Okay, so we're playing against the Mono Red Prison deck. So they're going to name this map. And then we're likely going to get Blood Moon or Ensnaring Bridge out of this game. Nice. Playing pass here. Oh, I should have played my Relic. I just zoned out. I saw, I saw a notification come up on my uh, computer and I looked over at it. So that was a mistake. Big mistake on my part. Desperate Ritual into what has it. Yeah, I definitely should have just played my Relic. Chalice on one, okay. 
into Eidolon. Okay. I'm just gonna play the Sanctum. Not give them the the information about it. So now we know to board in. We probably board in our Thought Not Seers, our um, whatever they are, Nature's Claims. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, we're probably just gonna get to hard cast this Worm Coil Engine, and I don't think that my opponent. I shouldn't have played that land. I should have played a a different one. I don't think my opponent's gonna be able to beat that. Goblin Chain Whirler, okay. Chain Whirler can deal, like, if my opponent has a Braid, they probably, a Braid's a very legitimate card that they could have. So, Goblin Rabble Master, okay. So I'm not going to block the Chain Whirler because I don't want... I guess we're not we're not playing around a Braid anyways because they just abrade my Worm Coil Engine anyways and make it into 3-2s or whatever. So I'm just going to block whatever provides the most damage. Whatever saves me the most damage, I guess. That's what I'm going to take care of. Okay. A braid. Okay. So I'm just going to block these two here with my Death Toucher and my Life Linker, and it cancels out this attack basically. And then we're going to get into this Chandra. Oh wow, they're gonna play the Rabble Master too. So now I'm gonna block the Rabble Master and this Goblin. Game three, take four. Get this off the board. And then I can attack the Chandra with my Life Linker. Yeah, that's right. I don't think they should attack with the Rabble Master. Okay, they're going to attack with the Rabble Master. Right. So if I attack, go to eleven, take five, six. This ticks up, so take eight. It's a losing proposition, but I gotta get into this. I have to get this Shonda off the board. I'm gonna save my forest until it's relevant, especially because I'm not casting Sylvan Scrying into this into this Eidolon unless they block. Alright, so I might as well just cast Sylvan Scrying. So now this Chandra is going to get into my, get into this, but such is life. I'm just going to get, it doesn't really matter. Because like, we either get rid of Tron or we don't, I think. Like if we get Tron, it's not going to matter what we have. I might as well just get like the most amount of mana that I can. I'm not going to have, my hand's not going to get empty for Seagate Wreckage. And I've already got green mana, which isn't going to be an issue. Yeah, I'm just going to take this tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to draw an O stone. O stone would be really good. O stone just probably just wins the game on the spot for me. And we do have four of them. Desperate ritual. Okay. Oh, so doing this, so that when they plus Chandra, they have the most amount of mana to cast, like, a 4-drop into Hazret. All right. 
Did that just kill me? No, not quite. So now it's like Ulamog. Ulamog or Bust, probably. Because, like, O-Stone doesn't deal with this thing. Not Ulamog, excuse me, Ugin. Eugene. Uh, Wywoof, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. I probably should just serve, I think. Ulamog. Okay. Or, I mean, Ugin. Alright, let's scoop this up here. Oh, no. I haven't converted Telepiro. I might end up playing this for the team Unified, because our Grand Prix, because Unified is so awful. And my one of my teammates might take a Snapcaster deck. Okay, so I think I want Nature's Claims. Nature's Claims, Thrag Tusk, Thought Not Seer are like maybes. Cards that don't seem that great. Ballista seems kind of medium. O Stone's probably pretty good. Worm Coil Engine's pretty good. Um, it might not be a Thought Not Seer matchup. Thought Not Seer is probably not super great. Could be master playing Amulet. <laughs> hey Ben, how you doing? No, I'm just playing Tron because um, for the Grand Prix Detroit, the way that uh, the format shakes out for Unified, the our Snapcasters and uh, might be going somewhere else. So I got to figure out another deck that's that's decent. I liked your deck last night, Ben. I've got some reserves about it, but it was it was very good at producing a good threat on two. Very reliable, which was nice. Um, Sylvan Scryings. I don't know what to cut. Like I want these six cards. Um, I kind of want my World Breaker because it gets rid of uh, enchantments. O Stone's great. Ulamog. Probably Ulamog's the worst one. Because, like, under a Blood Moon, I'm never casting it. I might get up to cast these cards. Um, I probably can shave... Actually, I probably can just shave three Relics and then bring in a Thought Not Seer. Yeah, we're going to go like this. I do like playing Amulet. Amulet's one of my is probably one of my favorite decks to play. I might play Amulet after this. Maybe just have some fun today. Would you like to play first? Yes. Okay. So this hand's awful. And this hand's decent. So we'll keep this. We'll put our Sylvan Scrying on top. They have a Ley Line or something? They have Genstone Cavern. That's okay. Uh, there's there's a I mean, there's a little bit to that Kish. Um But Johnny. Johnny's Johnny's very comfortable playing the Blue Moon deck, and I think this deck is. I think Blue Moon's good. I think I think a like Blood Moon control deck is very good. So we're gonna you know we're gonna give ourselves the option here, and I think I think this deck's very good. I think a, I think a lot of people don't give Tron the respect it needs. That would be gas, but I don't know if it's optimal to run zero Snapcaster Mages. That's tough. Okay. Let's 
So I actually don't know what's right to do here. Like if I Sylvan, like I'm probably gonna crack this chromatic star, and then I might end up searching for a forest. But let's see here. Let's go. Let's crack this for green. Yeah, this deck is very good. Okay, so there's the tower. So we have Tron. So I'm just going to go get a forest now. Because I don't want to get Blood Mooned out of this game. And the Thrag Tusk should be able to buy me a lot of time. So this Chalice is going to cut off some of my outs. Okay, so we get Mooned. Uh, I'm gonna protect my um, gonna protect my forest until I can cast Thrag Tusk because I can't claim anything because of Chalice. Yeah, Ben, I liked um, you'll probably play Infect or Burn in Detroit. That's what Tom's gonna play. Tom's either gonna play one of those two. Okay, so the the Rabble Master's scary. Because we're going to get cracked for one, then we're going to get cracked for six. Well, then we gain four, five life and we can at least trade with the Rabble Master, then leave the 3 3 behind. That's a pretty good draw. So let's just, you know, make. There's no reason in letting them know we have Tron. Yeah, so our lineup, I think our lineup is something like. Wow, this is going to get tough. So, like, we're going to trade this one of these Rabble Masters off this turn. Gain five life, block this, take... It's going to make two goblins. Um, is a Static Caster would be nice. Um... So I think our lineups are going to be something like, like I think our, our preferred one is either Infect, Tron, and then either Blue Moon or Grixis Shadow. I mean, obviously things can change. And then another one for us is if neither of us can play Tron effectively, then we could play something like Burn, Blue, White, and Humans. It's a lot of goblins. So I take 13 here, which is just great. We're just dead to so much stuff. Humans, Tron, Blue Moon. I think our guy likes playing Infect more. All right, well, we can't cast Stirrings. So let's just play this Power Plant. Block, block, take six. We go to eight. So we're still playing. I don't know for how much longer we're still playing, but. It'd be nice to be able to, like, this is a situation where nature's claiming your own thing would be great. This is such an odd attack for my opponent. I think. Play another Eidolon, okay. So, what are we looking for here? Chromatic Star is not it. So, we just pass. Block, block, just get wrecked here. Yeah. We're dead. God, rough way to start the morning.
But yeah, so the decks that I'm interested in playing, if Snapcaster is gone, is this deck, Humans, and uh, Jun Shadow. We'll be right back. I wouldn't mind maybe if I can figure out how to play Hollow One. Okay, so this is turn four, Tron on the draw, popping an O Stone. So I think I can keep that. Oh, we playing the Tron Mirror. Or am I playing Ironworks? Mirror's probably about whoever lands the first um, the first Karn. Because then you just tick down on their lands. Okay, so playing against KCI. Okay, so I can go Sphere. Crack it for green. I think it's worth giving myself another chance to play Tron on three next turn. So let's go like this. Let's play this. Crack for green. Play map. So at least this lets me crack the treasure, crack the expedition map, and then go get a Tron land and play O Stone. And then I can O-Stone away the board next turn, providing I don't just die right here. Which I think it would be difficult to just die right here, but it could happen. Okay, yeah, we could we could just die. Oh, they just... All right, Tron land there would have been gas. Oh, we can't do it because we need the we have the wrong land. So that's tough. Okay, so let's get Tower, Mine, Power Plant. Play Power Plant. Play Sphere, Crack Sphere. Yeah, I just missed, I messed up there with my, uh, which cards I had left over. All right, and then we will pass. And then if we get to another turn, we get to at least wrath the board. But I doubt we'll get... Oh, Hollow One without bolts. Well, Johnny could play blue, uh, blue white as well. I always wanted to just put Death Shadows in my Hollow One decks. Like you already play Lightning Bolt and Street Wraith, you do yourself a ton of damage. Scrap. So we can go eat, eat, play Scrap Trawler if that's what they want to do, which is what they're going to do. They're only going to have one mana left over, though, unless they have another star. So there's the there's the Spell Bomb. Three mana, Scrap Trawler. I'm just going to let my opponent know. I'm going to scoop if they show me a loop. Because, like, it's just dumb not to do that, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't want to make my opponent. Like, it's bad It's bad entertainment value for the stream. And I'd rather get games in. That'll happen. They were at one had like 18 outs. Yeah, well, that's how it that's how she goes sometimes.
I should be in a tournament. I'd be keeping track of what my opponent had here, but again, we're not we're not super about it. As soon as my opponent presents a loop, we're good. Yes. Mirror Retriever. So Mirror Retriever. So I'm either dead or they need another artifact. I don't know if they need an artifact or not. Because, like, what are they doing? They sack Mirror Retriever, get back another thing. They can sack Scrap Trawler. Like, they need one more artifact, right? I thought I was going to try it. They're not exactly... They, they appear to be new. I think they need... Yeah, I, I don't think this does it. Well, they can overpay. So Scrap Trawler gets back Mirror Retriever. Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. Scrap Trawler gets back Chromatic Star. No, so they don't have it. Yeah, they didn't have it. Push triggered ability from Scrap Trawler on the trap. Targeting Mirror Retriever. And then Retriever. Chromatic. So they don't have it yet because they can't make mana. They're just even. They need they need like an ancient stirrings. They need they need like a whatever it is. They need a mirror retriever or they need uh, Mox Opal. So now they sack this. Well, they messed it up. They should have they should have sacked Chromatic Star, but overpaid. This is like the weird like the weird one where they should have sacked Chromatic Star and overpaid for it, and then got both of these back, which is guess is what they're doing right now. So they get back. They return Scrap Trawler and Mirror Retriever. This comes here. There. And you'll eventually find a Mox Opal to actually gain mana. Okay, so they've got it here. So what they're doing here, they can draw, they can't make infinite mana here, but they can draw their deck. And eventually they're going to find a Mox Opal. And when they find Mox Opal, they then can make mana and eventually kill me. But I don't need but I'm not going to, I'm not going to make my opponent play through that. Okay, so Trinisphere, Relic, I'm going to assume Thought Not Seer and Nature's Claim are pretty good here. Cards that are not good, Ulamog or Ugin Jesus, Walking Ballista um Worm Coil Engine's probably kind of slow. So I could just board out two of them and have one. Bring in these. Go like this. Sort by converted mana cost. I've cut one more card. It, I could buy like not having four relics. I kind of want to keep all my Karns in on the play. I want to keep my Ulamogs in. I think I'm going to cut a Relic. Excuse me. Contortion seems decent against Trawler. Yeah, but it's, is that where I want to fight the game? Like, Thought Knots here might be too slow. I'm going to cut one Thought Knots here.
Okay. Um, I would like to play first. I think this is a keep. So we've got like a good piece of interaction, a redraw, and a stirrings that can still get us on Tron, and we have Urza's. Uh, we have Oblivion Stone. So I think we're gonna keep this. I don't. I don't know how aggressive I should mulligan with this deck or not, but I think I think this is okay. If there's any like Tron aficionados, they should let me know. That's the biggest thing that I don't know exactly how to do with Tron is like. When do I mulligan? Okay, so let's sack this for green. Okay, so we drew a sphere. So let's stirrings for a Tron piece. Power plant's the same Tron piece. Nice. Just gonna get a land. We need lands, so. I played it for a while, yeah. All right, we're just going to slam Transphere. Like, this should slow them down at least. Hopefully we spike the land so that we can just play Thought Knots here. If not, we get a redraw at it. Stratosphere is pretty solid right now. E for three. Okay. All right. So let's. I guess we tap one of these. Okay. Sanctum's good. So now we can play Thought Knots here. Take target. Um, they leave EE in here. That's kind of. I guess EE's not bad. We're going to take the scrap trawler. So now we have a clock. My opponent likely pops this engineered explosives. And then we get to Sylvan Scrying for another piece of Tron. Okay, so let's get in here. So now I can play Relic and have defense up, but they would have to draw, they would have had to draw, draw very well in order for that to happen. I think I want to just go get a Tron land. Like what am I gonna do with one mana afterwards? Nothing? off the stirrings, like it costs three. I might as well like make land drops, right? Especially when next turn, they're going to pop this and then I can go like Ancient Stirrings Tron piece into Karn. Let's try and get you the last piece of Tron. But it also gets me a land drop this turn guaranteed, right? And I'm just, I'm, I am just in the market for making land drops. I think I'm going to scrying. I think I'd like to hit a land drop. Like 100%. So let me go get the... 
tower. But I might miss like a Tron piece. Like that's not that's not like a like a, if I if I um, what is this? There's the ironworks. Okay. But I might miss with like uh, I might miss getting the Tron piece I want, right? Like I could easily hit. Like I've only got eight good hits right now left in my deck. So he's gonna play this bad boy and pass, or are they gonna sack mana to blow this explosives up? Okay. So there's the Mox. So they have EE and two unknowns. I guess, yeah, so it's all a game of numbers, right, Teddy? Like, I, I don't exactly know the numbers. So my opponent doesn't have a lot going on here. Because they have EE, Terrarium, and X. Now I can also play something like Oblivion Stone into Relic if I if we determine that's what I need to do. Okay, there's a Wellspring. But now you're starting to us four mines to find instead of four mines and four towers. Okay, that makes sense. So I just I effectively made my stirrings worse. Okay, I understand. I get that. I, w I think we're dead. Man, we got steamrolled in this league. Absolutely rolled. I find it difficult for my opponent to just like fizzle here. Oh wow. So now I probably just ancient stirrings, hopefully find the Tron piece, and then smack this ironworks. If not, I'll probably play Relic and play defense with Relic. Power Plant Relic Map. One, one, two. Make a land drop. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to take Expedition Map. Any order. Play the map. Crack the map. Go get the Tron piece that I need. Which is Urza's Mine. I can probably just play Oblivion Stone. And then I can probably play Relic and crack it. And then just attack and play an Oblivion Stone. Nature's Claim doesn't do anything. Okay, so I'm just going to attack. So if they fizzled right there, I don't know what they have in their hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, that was just mana efficient. And then next turn we can go Karn, Crack Sanctum, get Ulamog, 
minus on like a land and then blow this up. Now we just F6. Yeah, if we have the next turn, we're in pretty good shape. That Inventor's Fair makes me pretty scary, though. So this gets Scrap Trawler. We play Scrap Trawler. Then they only have one thing to sack. Because they have to make mana. Okay, they play EE for zero. Sack that, make three. So now they can bring back the EE. Bring back the EE. Yeah, so as soon as, again, this is the worst timeline. <laughs> so as soon as my opponent shows me a loop, we'll scoop it up. Do they just like not have it? Five mana. Mirror Retriever. So if they can show me a way to draw cards, they're good. Because this is this is infinite draws. If they have a um if they have a whatever it is. Uh egg. Well, they have to show me a way to, like, draw through their deck, right? So this gets back Mindstone. Like, they're just cantripping. They're spinning their wheels. They're not actually going anywhere yet. Yeah, they don't have an egg. So the game's not exactly over. But Mind Stone, they have to lose mana on it. Because, like, they sack this to seven. Play Mind Stone for two. Excuse me. Play Mind Stone for two. They have to go, like, sack it to four mana. Get back. Mirror Retreat. Then now they don't have another artifact. So they need to draw an artifact here. Well, they have Engineer Explosives. So now they sack Explosives. But then they don't have anything to get back with the Scrap Trawler because the Mirror Trier is in the graveyard. Now you do. So get back Engineer Explosives. Ironworks. Ironworks gets back Mind Stone. My Ironworks gets back Mirror Retriever. Play Mirror Retriever. And now they just need another artifact to sack. And that gets back my zone. So now they basically can draw through their entire deck. And eventually they'll find a Lox Opal and make colored mana. And they'll get me. Man, we got worked. In this league. We're going to drop this league, jump into another one with Tron. <clears throat> okay, so drop. I'm going to do a plug here and restart Moto.